Right, part two of the tutorial, uh, we're on Flickr. Um, I've got to sign in. Annoyingly, I have to use my old Facebook to sign in. So I go down there. I'll sign in with Flickr. Up here, they've got a really annoying sign in, a bit like um, Google. I'll explain um, the new situation on the YouTube Google situation. You can sign in with Facebook, but I have to use my old Facebook, so I have to sign into my old Facebook first and then sign in. Comes up with that. Let's wait for it to load, and there we are. I've now signed into my Flickr account. Uh, while we're here, we'll have a little look at my um, photo stream. Um, photo stream. This is where all my pictures go up. For my, I put these up the other day. These are from um, Kent. Um, that's the hotel I stayed in when I was in Ramsgate, and a few places. Um, don't know why it's done that. Right. So obviously, I'll take my own photos. Um, you might rec remember these. So not only do I film, I also take pictures. As well. Um, there we are. Got lost again. So yeah, you probably remember these. So if people put pictures up on Flickr, and that's very useful, you see. Um, when I was doing some research on the area, um, I typed this in. So there's the Flickr search, same as everywhere else. So I'll just type Margate Toilet Sim. And there we are. We got. Um, oh, that's annoying me now. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't want to go on Facebook. And, right, I'm going to get annoyed with that in a minute. Have a look through, and it's got uh, various pictures. Now, this is one that drawn me quite a while ago. Um, it seems like a collar, it's different pictures, right? So, you, so you put, got a picture of that. And look, look up in here, you see. Look up in that. Um, the picture was taken in 2009. Um, but these are actually different locations. A bit of a, um, how should I put it? This is a bit of a kind of, um, could be misleading, not intentionally misleading. Um, these ones you see are not these ones, nor are they these ones. These ones are closed, you see. Um, actually, it's from 2007, so it says down there. Um, now the user who took photos, see, they also got these ones. See, that's quite attractive. We all, we all know what that is. Quite exciting pictures, you see. Quite exciting. So I find Flickr just as useful as anything else. And I'm trying to look for good locations. These are direct here. They, they managed to get inside these. Uh, very attractive back in their day when they were still open. Um, you can look through an individual's photo stream. So we've got a user here. And there's derelict ones. They are probably lucky. I don't know how they've done that. I mean, it might have been like that anyway. I'm not going to say any more about that. But if you look at that. Remember that image, then go back, then go back again, and you probably notice it's that you see. So again, you see, it's trying to really have a look at things, look at things between the lines, read between the lines. Uh, but I find that very useful actually, um, these images. And um, it basically attracted me to the area, gave me a lot of research, and made things. Um, made it a very successful visit, as you probably remember. So the individual's photo stream, they've got quite a lot of good pictures on there, actually. Like, getting annoyed with that. If you go away, that can go away. Um, they also got a very small video. I don't know how you put videos on Flickr. I haven't done it yet. Obviously, I've got YouTube, but um, 
have a look through quite a few of their pictures and they've got some pretty interesting ones picture here I visited these nothing special nothing was filmed and so on as you see they've taken the same pictures some of the places I took um, they seem to have a very similar um, photographer's eye that I have actually I saw these I didn't film them they are actually um, up on YouTube these ones but of course it gave me a chance to have a look and um, give me a head start when I'm reviewing the area. I mean to me that's avoidable. Some people yeah they might like that look but that's not um, a look that I'd be going when I'm filming you see. It's very harsh 70s maybe 80s. Um, quite clearly it's concealed it's not what I'd be looking for um, but it gives me the head start while doing some research you see. Um, so type broad stairs in come up with broad stairs these are all various photos from various users now these are um, the car park I can't remember the name of the street actually and the car parks have a little look and quite clearly potential um, the men's section it turned out had a Dudley in it but as you can see it's possibly a Dudley in the ladies it's a black cistern there's the overflow so again that was attractive very intriguing so of course I'll do um, my research on the area and um, try to find um, a picture that was it Ramsgate um, Another picture I can't seem to find at a minute. There it is. Um, these actually turn out to be Viking Bay. Um, this is possibly the ladies section. Um, when I took one look at that picture, I was like, yes, I'm headed straight there. But how old is that picture? That was taken June 24th, 2013. So it's a recent picture. So yes, they will still be open. It's not like it's an old picture from 20, 30 years ago that's possibly not going to be there. So that was very exciting when I saw that. And um, so of course I did my research. Um, now we'll stay on Flickr for a minute. We'll um, open up a new tab. And so I typed. Um, so we've got to find out where's Ramsgate, Margate, um, what's the council area. It's in the Fannet area. Um, the Isle of Fannet is called. Okay, that's not... Um, I think I spelled it wrong actually, didn't I? Hold on. There we are. There, Fannet District, District Council, and there are the locations. Um, this was very useful. It's the map of the borough, the district, and their locations. So we have a little look around Margate Cemeteries. This little blue spot. We clicked on that. I clicked on that. Okay, it's not working this time. It, it used to work, but. Not been as reliable. They're all been unreliable now. Um, but yeah, basically when I'm before when I did research, I clicked on it. It came up with the location. You see, um, they also have a list as well. Um, there we are. The um, opening the locations: Birchington, Broadstairs, Margate, Ramsgate and Westgate, the um, different little sections. Um, this list has actually changed since I've done research. Um, but it's got the, um, the name, the location. Has it got disabled? No. Baby changing? No. Um, I don't quite understand what that word is, don't ask me. But it's got the opening times and so on. Um, so in Broadstairs we had uh, Viking Bay, Beach Chalets, No Disabled, 
Yes, there was a baby change in. They're seasonal, open from 25th of March to 29th of September, and they're open from 9 to 9. So that's basically enough information. Of course, I did my research on the entire area. So we go back into Google, come away from up into Kent, and there we are, there's our location. Broadstairs, this is Viking Beach, if we look in there. They're down here, you can't always see, right, especially coastal locations, you can't always see what's down there. That's as close as you get to see them, basically. But that doesn't bother me, it's not a problem. Because obviously I've been there now, so I know, I know what I'm looking at anyway, but this is the research I was doing before. Trying to find that little car park, I forgot the name of the street. Albion Street, that's the one. I think it's Albion Street. We zoom in, I think it's this little building down there. There we are, these are the ones that we saw on Flickr. I zoomed right in. And there we are, there's the overflows you might be able to work out. See them? So of course, that basically, I did um, the entire research, basically, the whole research on the entire area. Which meant when I was filming, I was basically ready, I knew where I was going, I knew exactly where to go and where to avoid. So, again, I spent as much time as possible filming the good locations, just as I planned. And um, before they updated this website, they actually had a few of the closed locations marked still, but um, they've taken them off now. I did find a very nice potential, actually, I might as well share with you. I was a bit gutted that it was closed, because it's been a nice one to find on the, um, find on the trip, actually. It's this little car and coach park. It's not that building, not that one at all. Uh, it's this building up here. So I zoomed in, I had a look. Of course, they were out of access, so I was a little bit disappointed. You can see the signs have been taken off. Um, but I thought, yeah, that'd been a nice location, but I knew it was close, so unfortunately, I had to avoid them basically. Uh, but I started the research using Flickr as well, so I was using all of the um, resources possible. Found some pretty good locations. Margate Cemetery we're looking for next. Right on the edge of town. Drop down there. Have a little look around. And there we are. There's the building that I famously filmed. I wasn't the first person to film them. Get a feel for the building it looks if I didn't know what's in there I'd still be attracted what interests me it looks like um the building's kind of been taken apart if you look it's like at one time there was something in the middle which is sort of like gone so keep zooming back between them you can tell there was something there and then um, they obviously demolished what was in there but they conveniently very kindly kept these very kind of them uh, I've had a lot of fun filming that one the ladies as well so again, my research made it all very successful when it came to filming, you see. It also warned me off a few places. Birchington. This is Birchington on sea. A little look at um, here. You might remember these ones. These were a very old low-level setup. But a few things worried me from the start. You might not be able to tell from here, but low level overflows. Very worrying when you see it. Actually, no, sorry. Um, back on Flickr, wasn't it, that they warned me off? Well, we're back on Flickr now. We can go back through. There's a photo from outside Birchington. But I can't find it up on here. That's the inside of Birchington, that little picture. Um, can't find the picture of it, but the picture basically shown the outside, it's shown the low level overflows, and I was like, right, I'll be careful of that one. I still went there anyway, but it's in Dover this one. If you wonder what I'm looking at, it's Dover there. I did find these. Um 
I think these were prison toilets actually, I didn't film them. So again you've got to be careful when doing research. Places. So that's, hang on, I'm looking in the wrong place, I'm looking at someone's photo stream. Okay, back. We're still on someone's photo stream, hold on. And we'll see. Let's look through, see if we can see um, that building I told you about. Yeah, there it is. That's one side of Birchington. You can't see the low level overflows in that one. Be somewhere in there, wouldn't they? That's all right. Um, we'll skip that one for now. But um, look at this. I, I haven't told many people about this, but I've seen this picture, a derelict one. Couldn't tell you where it is, but the picture was at, added in um, 2006, um, covered in graffiti. Uh, despite the great things I saw in that area, it looks like quite a lot of good things have disappeared, unfortunately. That would be one of those good things. So... You know what I mean? Very sad looking face there. And some very good looking individual comment is saying the sad face on the side of the building says it all. So, um, this is all basically me doing endless research. Basically, there were a few other little places. Um, an amusing picture here. It took me ages to find out where this building is, so I didn't get a chance to visit it, but we, we won't look at the person in there, but look at that. See, like I said, there was a lot of things I didn't get to film around there. When I say a lot of things that get filmed, didn't always have the time. This is the Mount Hatter Tea Room. It's quite clearly a replica Victorian. I didn't get a chance to go there, but it's pretty much a safe location so we'll visit that next year be quite good fun to visit that place actually so again that this was the research I done a few months ago um, so now we've got to think what I'm going to be doing next year of course now I've already decided my locations next year one of them will be in the northeast of England so come back out here Google Earth the northeast of England Zoom out of the south east, go up the coast. North east, Tyne and Weir. Um, Tyne and Weir is a county. So we go on Wikipedia, look at Tyne and Weir. It's an entire urban county. That covers the main urban area of the north east of England. Basically, Newcastle being the main place. And these are the boroughs of um, Tyne and Weir. So we've got Newcastle, no, that's Gateshead, Newcastle, North Shields, South Shields and Sunderland. So quite a large area to look at and um, a lot of it's coastal. So as you can imagine, we have a bit of fun with that. Whitley Bay. Um, that's Whitley Bay, Colour Coats, Tynemouth, South Shields. See it's all beaches. Going down here, a place called Whitburn, Seaburn, Rodka and Sunderland. So of course I've been doing a lot of research on these areas. Um, I think I was just messing about for a bit once. I came across something um, quite attractive up here in um, Rodka or Seaburn. We'll have a little look. That's where I'll be going next year. There we are. So of course this is one location underground. You could possibly even see the white tiles. Very attractive look. We'll look at the other side. It's 
So this is basically what attracted me to the area basically. This was the main thing, the key thing to get me attracted. But so yes, yeah, so the imagery date. So you've got to weigh these things into put these things into perspective. So I do more research. So we go back on the internet. Rocker. And then my research gets um, a bit more intense. Actually, that's not really. Somebody's uploaded a sink of Rucker. It's in Sunderland. Just wait for Sunderland Council to open. They have no immediate plans to close any toilets, which looks quite good, despite spending a lot of money on cleaning and maintaining them during the past two years. That's good. I like that. I like to hear that. Um, two of these 20 toilets in Seaburn and Easington Lane are currently closed for repair. Right, that's a bit worrying. What are these repairs? It says repair, not refurbishment. That's a plus point. So we go back on, do a bit more research. Um, I read somewhere something about some toilets um, having their sinks repaired because the water was too hot or something. And it showed a picture of those underground ones. Here, there's the image. And there, so these are quite clearly the underground ones. But if you notice they're painted turquoise, not in black. A slight change, but other than that, I don't think there's any major changes. The white tiles are still there, but this sign's worrying. I can't really read what that sign says up on here. Can't see it through my phone either, but it could possibly be that they're closed due to repairs. It doesn't say anything else, rather annoyingly, but I also read somewhere that... Um, Apparently the repairs are finished and they're reopened, so I think that's gonna that should be quite a good thing hopefully. So again I did a bit of research. We go back on the flicker, we start um having a look for places in the area. So if I go couldn't find anything, I had to research somewhere else. So of course I go back on the council. Not very useful that is it. Sunderland City Council. Been on that site already. I'm looking for, go up in the search. Search results, and there we are. We've got the list that we're looking for. Got the north area, the east area, Coalfield, and Washington. Right. So in the north area, it's got um, a list of the potentials, and um, I forgot the one of the underground ones, but I did find, yeah, Sea Lane, I reckon. C Lane Seaburn. I reckon it's these ones here. Did find another nice little potential as well, actually. Which is very close. Go okay, back on there. Um, I think it's D this road here Dean Lane, Seaburn Dean, whatever that means. He's somewhere around here. It's not too. It's annoying when they do that. When they give you loads of um, type Dean Lane in. There we go. That's a bit more useful. We find Dean Lane. I think it might be that building there. Am I? I might look for somewhere different. No, I'm looking in the wrong place again, aren't I?
Um, I did find the potential somewhere. There's one down here. Potential, we zoom in, we have a look. There it is, right in there. So as you can see, it's behind this bus shelter. Fortunately, we can't get up too close, but from what from where I'm looking, it's potential basically. Um, again, weighing up the age of the building, brickwork looks 30s, original windows by the looks of things, which is promising. Can't see any overflows. I'll pretend I didn't see that. Pretend that's not an overflow. I don't think it is anyway. Uh, but it's get a feel of the entire area. If you look at the houses around there, they look quite nice actually. So it's a nice area, which is good because you know I don't want to get any hassle. There we go. There's another view of them. And so far, I like what I see with these. Get a very good positive feel of these, but doesn't mean they couldn't be a letdown. You know what I mean? Could be anything in there. But yeah, that'd be one of the places we'd be visiting next year. So of course it's doing research in an entire very vast area that I'm not familiar with. But that's part of the fun of it. I reckon they're um, Dean Lane ones are down there, aren't they? Yeah, is that it? Might be round there. I'll be doing more research closer to time anyway, so... Um, so back to Flicky, you see... Um, Tynemouth, wasn't it? I did some research on Whitley Bay and Tynemouth. I saw something quite interesting. There, these. Now that's basically very attractive. It's obviously the ladies because the amount of doors in it. Um, that'd be the summer section. They're probably open all year round. Um, but one thing we will have to rule out that the photo was taken in 2007. They could still be there. I hope they are. I try not to get my hopes up too much. But what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at a very positive... Um, seaside town image it's a very the tiles the doors the heavy wooden doors um, the high ceilings the light coming through it it's a very positive look um, the, the photo isn't allowed comments on it but I'll say it's a very positive look anyway um, they could be shires I can see shires in that I can see dauntless in that I can even see a flushing trough in that one but I could see that as a concealed unfortunately it might be like that. They might have been modernised, they might have been closed, but I don't want to think about that. But again, that's doing the intense research. Uh, Whitley Bay, we do one of Whitley Bay. And we've got some photos closed, unfortunately, this one. And somewhere in Whitley Bay. I'd love to have visited them. But it looks like we're not going to be able to. So plank of wood, broken windows. It's not going to be happening. We can't get it all all the time. But check this picture out. An oldish picture, probably from the 60s or 70s. Um, very good colour for the era. I think but a queue for the ladies, you see. So it goes to show that these facilities are quite needed. Um, I don't know which ones these are, but it says Whitley Bay. So of course doing my research um, really gives me a chance to get a feel of these places and locations. Um, I mean I like the look. I love this look, the promenade look, the Victorian brickwork and you know what I mean. That's very that's very British you see so I'll be very attracted to that. So a bit of a disappointment I won't be able to get to them. Another closed ones here. But yeah see this is basically... The entire area, South Shields, we've got something good waiting for us in South Shields, I think. So 
This is a historic one. Um, just checking that building out. Um, this one's, I think, 100 years old this year. But, you know, it's got a very good design to it. Might be able to work out. White tiles here. Very positive looks so far. These ones are treasured, apparently, locally. They're treasured by the council. The council are going to... Um, the council, I think, are going to try and keep these ones open, I should think. They've got a few images. No, we can't get to the other pictures of these ones, can we? Yeah, there we are. And we can see the sign. Um, yeah, so hopefully these ones will be left as they are. So that's going to be some weather visit next year, I should think. Don't be fooled by this one. Um, these are one of the very old-fashioned open new vinyls. Um, apparently these were taken apart, but they've been put back in their place. It's a tourist attraction or something. Yeah, West Onetti or something. I've actually seen that picture before. It's all part of the tourist attraction or something. Um, well, when I say tourist attraction, I think they put them there just for like the look or something. Got another one up there. There's quite a few potentials in that area actually. This is in um, South Shields now. Obviously, I'm going quite fast, but that's, that's how I work, you see. Quite a lot of potential in the South Shields. Um, so quite a lot. This little building down here, which I found recently. Let's zoom into this one. Architecture, you see. The place looks very attractive. So, you know what I mean? This... It'd be quite fun to film, you know what I mean? Do your outside shots and the inside ones as well. Um, was there something else in that area I found as well? Um, I'll tell you what I did. Yeah, I went on the... North Tyne side, which is Whitley Bay. North Town side have branched them into different areas, different um, sections you see. You've got 24 hours, which I'm avoiding. Coast, town centre, fish key, wherever that is, parks and cemeteries. Can't go wrong with the cemeteries. Just give an example. Just a small example of the area. This is in Wall's End. There we are. We have a cemetery. We can't really see too much from here, but there'll be somewhere else we'll be visiting next year. So as you can see, I've got um, quite a lot of um, research to be getting on with next year. Um, quite a lot of places, lots of locations. So obviously, um, we'll have to wait until next summer for this whole area. But this is the entire area that I'll be covering next year i think july i'm going this entire area up here so it's going to be quite exciting i think um but as i said in my last video brighton is going to be next week and um, bristol and um, bristol probably at the end of the month um now this this place has got a lot of potentials in it as well actually while we're here we'll have um, a look for them i've written them down but i can't remember where i put that piece of paper i've written down on the sink um, but yeah, just to cover over Bristol, there's quite a few potentials around there as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll end this video now and I'll come up to another video shortly because um, I've run out of space in my phone. So what I'll do is we'll finish the video and um, 